Okay, well, welcome everybody. I'm so excited that y'all are on tonight to hear from my friend Paige Greenway. She and I actually only met through social media. <laughs> I reached out to her back in February because I was going to Waco, Texas, where she's from. If y'all follow um, Fixer Upper, then y'all know what Waco is all about. Um, so I was going there for the whole Magnolia experience, Magnolia market and everything. So I was like, I need some details. I, I saw Paige's name just starting to pop up everywhere. And she was like really growing her business. And I was like, who is this girl? I need to talk to her. So I reached out to her and I was like, okay, you have any tips for me? Because you're growing by leaps and bounds. And um, she's just been so kind to always just give me, um, share her experiences and just some of her knowledge. And um, she's one of those that I could tell right away that she's gonna be diamond someday and I'm gonna be like, I knew her. And she's really cool. <laughs> so I'm excited that y'all get to hear from her. And we are gonna have some Q and A at the um, end of our meeting. So if y'all think of anything, you know, throughout the meeting that you wanna ask her, um, she's definitely willing to do that. So um, Paige, Take it away. We can't wait to hear your story. Awesome. No. Okay. Thank you so much. That's so, first of all, that's so sweet. <laughs> it's funny. But um, yeah, no, I just appreciate y'all letting me be on here tonight. I love, I love getting to do this um, with, and just getting to meet other Plexus people. Like Plexus people are the best. And so um, it's really, really fun. But I am, um, so yeah, I just have some, I don't know, just some thoughts and just, um, I would love to share my story a little bit with you guys because Plexus has been such a huge blessing for me. So I, I, to give you a little bit of background, um, I started on the products, let's see, June of 2015. Um, I had not even really heard of this until right before I had my second son. And then um, I, I heard about it from a friend. And you know, when you hear something, like you've never heard of it before, but then you hear it, and then you start like hearing about it kind of everywhere all of a sudden, because suddenly you're noticing. And, and so that's how Plexus was for me. And so I um, saw my friend Sally Crosby, who is my sponsor, my upline, um, and she's an Emerald, but I saw her post about, she had a, a a story on her page about milk supply, how Plexus could improve your milk supply. And I was like, wait a minute. Okay, hold on. This is, I, I've been very wary of supplements and I'll, I'll tell you why in a little bit, but we have, and I was just very cautious with like, with supplements, putting stuff like that in my body that I didn't know what it was. Um, and so I, but when I saw that, I was like, wait, wait a minute and I really trusted Sally and so I reached out to her and started doing some research and um, I knew nothing about gut health or I knew a little bit about blood sugar regulation helping with hormones because again I'll tell you more of that in a second but um, so anyway started kind of looking into the products and felt comfortable with them and so I started taking them um, for my milk supply and it did improve my milk supply but then all of these other things started happening too that I just honestly wasn't expecting because I didn't know what to expect I didn't know about Plexus and so um, I had a newborn baby and then I had a two-year-old at home and um, was clearly exhausted and suddenly I was like having some energy again and like getting a little bit of life back and a little pep in my step. And, um, I had daily, like my whole life, I don't remember a time when I did not have daily really bad headaches and those were going away. Like one day I was just like, I haven't had a headache in, I don't, weeks, day, I don't know how long it had been, but I realized they were gone and my allergies were getting better and I really struggled with insomnia, like bouts of insomnia off and on for honestly most of my life. And I was like, my head would hit the pillow and I was actually falling asleep and staying asleep until my newborn was waking me up. And, um, but waking up, like feeling refreshed and not like a zombie. And, um, so all of these things were happening and I was actually losing weight. I 
the second time around, the weight was not falling off like it had the first time. It just, you know, I would nurse my first baby and just like lost the weight. And that was not happening the second time around. I was in my 30s this time and it was just different. And I, I finally started losing that baby weight. So I was like, this stuff is amazing. But um, my biggest my biggest thing that absolutely made me the passionate, crazy plexus lady did not come until later. So I started out as a preferred customer and then, um, you know, Sally was like, look, you could get these products cheaper if you sign up wholesale. So let's do this. And I was like, okay, whatever. I love the product. Sure. And so I signed up to be an ambassador, but I was like, I am not doing that. I am not going to be that person. I am not going to drive people crazy on Facebook. My best friend sold Rodan and Fields and I love the products. So I was like, I'm not going to do that. I can't afford that. I'm not going to ask people to pay, you know, whatever. And so she had been trying to get me to do it. And I said, absolutely not. I also taught high school English at the time too. So I was like, I do not have time for this in my life. And Sally was like, you know, you have this website now. You could just send people to your website. I'm like, okay, sure. And so I kind of like told a few people, hey, you know, if you're interested in trying Plexus, like it's making me feel really good. So like, here's my website if you want to buy anything. Well, they did. Like I got a few customers and I was like, oh, this is kind of fun. Like I'm getting my products paid for. What in the world? But so anyway, like I said, Fast forward though to, um, so September I think was when I joined wholesale, still had no clue about the business whatsoever. Um, but I did start reading that um, Plexus could help regulate your cycle. And so sorry if this is not a fun thing to talk about, but my, um, I had we really struggled for years with fertility fertility issues and um, could not get pregnant, could not get pregnant. And then we had failed treatment after failed fertility treatment after failed treatment. And we ended up after in a, a span of, of a few years and um, all told had, had four miscarriages. And so, um, and one of those was an ectopic pregnancy. Anyway, it was different. But um, so we had been through a lot and I've been through a lot hormonally. I'd never in my life had regular cycles. And I had read that Plexus could help with that. And so I was like, well, we'll see. But I was nursing when I first started the products. Anyway, so um, I quit nursing in December of 2015. I was praying desperately because birth control made me sick constantly. I hated being on birth control. I did not want to go back on it. And so just, Lord, please let this be something that could actually work for me. And two weeks after I quit nursing, started my cycle. And y'all, it has been every 28 days since then, since December of 2015, every 28 days. And I know that's like, mm, I'm sorry, but that is a miracle. Like that is crazy for me. And it was a total game changer because I just flat out, I didn't ovulate before this, like unless I was on medication or the two times that I got babies <laughs> was just God saying, I'm going to intervene. Here's a miracle. Cause we'd given up, like the treatments did not work. So he just brought us these precious boys. But, um, so it absolutely, that was when I was like, all right, sold. That's it. I will shout this from the rooftops. If someone else doesn't have to go through what we went through, then yeah, I'm going to talk about this stuff. And so that kind of set me on fire. And that's what I, I, I say turned me into this crazy plexus lady because I felt like I have to share this. I have a gift that is not guaranteed to do that for someone else, but what if it did? You know, what if it did? What if it could offer hope to someone and completely change someone's lives? And so that was kind of the beginning of it for me. Um, so, yeah, that's my story um, as far as the products go. But then um, I sort of started dabbling here and there and with really talking about it, with actually posting on Facebook, which was terrifying, and with um, reaching out some privately to friends or to family members. And um, like I said, I got some customers and then I didn't, I, I didn't understand at all what the difference between a customer and ambassador was, nothing like that made no sense to me, but I went silver <laughs> really probably kind of on accident. And um, in, I think it was January of 2016 because Sally was like, or maybe somebody was running a special and they're like, okay, if you sign up three wholesale ambassadors and you, so anyway, 
So some, she walked me through it and that's what we did. And I went silver and I was like, sweet, this is kind of fun. And I got a bonus and that's great. And again, I was still like, I don't have time for this, but, um, she was kind of coaching me through it. And so I sort of started picking up and posting more and getting more customers and talking to more people and so it started kind of taking off and um, I realized for whatever reason uh, it was kind of like people were trusting me about this and um, it was something that was really fun it became really fun to me and it was something that I was kind of halfway decent at <laughs> I was like okay this is cool let's try it and so I started um, focusing a little bit more time and effort on it and training myself and figuring out what I was actually doing. And so my business did start to grow. And then Sally was like, hey, you could go gold if you really like put your mind to it. I was like, okay, what does that mean? And so once we started, you know, I started learning more and, and looking at, I have all these customers and I could upgrade some and I could this and that because I was ha I had this like super high PV and um, so I started upgrading some customers and when it came to May of 2016, Sally was going to shoot for Emerald and I was like, oh sweet, I could help her do that and she had kind of mapped out um, on a whiteboard like this is how many points I need like if I can get this many points from this person, this many points and this many points. And, you know, she just like had a whole plan and she had written down. Um, I think I'd ended April with like 35 points. Okay. And she had written down 50 for page. I remember on her whiteboard, it said page green, 50 points. And I was like, 50 points. No, I got this. I am going gold. Like I am going to do this. And it began this kind of competitive thing with myself of like, oh, no, I'm going to blow that out of the water. And so, like I said, I had all of these upgrades that I could make. So I did. I upgraded a ton of people. And then I just started signing people up wholesale, which was kind of risky. We didn't have the 60-day money-back guarantee for ambassadors at the time. But I just, like, went crazy. And it was so fun to watch her reaching her goal. And I was like, we are doing this. Like, I want to help her get there. And so I busted it. I worked so hard that month. Um, also, two kids at home teaching high school English. But I was like, no, we're making this happen. Like, yeah, I wanted to hit gold, but I wanted Sally to hit emerald. I mean, she was my friend, and I had at this point learned really what that meant. And so I was so excited. And so we just busted it so hard and um, worked really hard every day. And she, I sailed past gold because she hadn't hit emerald. And I was like, no, mm -mm, no, we, our job is not done. And so we just kept going. And it, that was what kind of really lit a fire in me for this business. And then um, long story short, I will not go into the, all the details of this, but I had not registered for convention. We did not think it was going to work to go. And so Sally, I hit gold, Sally hit Emerald in May. And then I, at this point though, now I'm like, I'm in this business. I'm going to do this. But at the time, you know, before that I was like, well, I don't know. And I didn't really know what convention was. And I was in Vegas. I'm like, what am I going to do with my kids for a week? And, um, so I just didn't think there was any way to make it happen. And, um, but whenever she hit Emerald, like, we we're going to do a big celebration. And I just really wanted to go and be there. But it was too late. Couldn't get registered. Nothing. So, but my mom worked for American Airlines. And I was like, I'm just going to fly on passes to Vegas. I'm going to sleep on somebody's floor. I'm going to go to that Emerald celebration. Then I'll just come home. I'm crazy. I'm just crazy, but I'm just going to do it. So I flew out there and um, I went down to registration with them um, and I just walked up to this lady who probably thought it was nuts. And I was like, I just came all the way from Waco. I know that registration is closed, but is there anything that I can come to? Like any little workshop, like stand in the back, anything just for like a day. And she's like, registration is closed. What's your name? And I was like, what? And she just like secretly registered me right then and there for convention. And my husband is a pastor. I just worked it all out. It was incredible. Um, and our church had given him a sabbatical, like a month long sabbatical. And it started the first day of convention, which we had not planned that out or we could have figured out. No, 
your husband can be home with your kids. So poor planning on our part. But um, so I called Drew and I'm like, hey, guess what? <laughs> I'm actually going to be staying for a few days. And he was like, what? But he was fine with it. So um, I got to go to convention. And this was not this past convention, obviously, but the summer before. And y'all, that changed everything for me. I know I keep saying that, but there were all these little things that just kept building my belief and kept building my excitement and kept building my understanding of this opportunity. And it set me on fire. And I just remember um, looking around at those jewels. And um, well, first of all, seeing one of my best friends, Sally Crosby, actually hit Emerald and like, she's going to Hawaii. She got a Lexus, like she has a six figure income. This is insane. She is also a pastor's wife. She's a normal person. And then seeing these jewels, like, yeah, they're fabulous and they're amazing, but they're also the real people. Like the stories they were telling were real stories. And it just made me go, yeah, I, why not? Like, why not me? Why couldn't I do that? I could do that. And I just soaked up all the training and um, came back with such just a fire in my bones. Honestly, I don't know how else to describe it. Um, for, yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I know that it's going to take hard work, but like, why not? And so I just drew my line in the sand right then and there. And um, I went crazy. And I started messaging like anyone I had ever met in my life. I mean, really. And we can talk more about that, but just some very short, simple, and um, cold messages that I just started sending to people. And I wasn't, I didn't want to be that like fakey, let me per, you know, send this big paragraph of like, how are you doing? How is your brother? How is your baby's, you know, ear and like, no, just, you know, a quick, like, so great to, you know, keep up with you here on Facebook. Your new baby is precious. Hey, so you may have seen my Plexus post. Have you ever tried it? And like, that's it, you know? And so, um, I got like, it was insane that next week after convention, I was on the leaderboard for preferred customers. I didn't even know there was a leaderboard. Like it was crazy. And so, but I had just decided like I'm doing this. And so I had just been reaching out, reaching out, reaching out, reaching out. And um, it just started to, to blow up from there. And so that's when I got very, very serious about making a plan, mapping things out, and making it happen. So we'll, we'll talk more about that. But um, yeah, so what I had to decide, and I think what everyone has to decide is, okay, what do you want? What do you want? And why do you want it? So no matter what, you may decide, all right, I want to make an extra $500 a month or I, <laughs> my four-year-old is still awake. Um, or I may, you know, you may want to make an extra 2000 a month. You may want to be a plexus jewel. You may want to be a diamond someday. You know, this is what I want. This is why I want it. But no matter what, you have to be hungry for those goals. If your goal is you want to make an extra $500 a month, You've got to make sure that you know how to make that happen and that you are going for it every single month. And so we hear it all the time. Hobby time equals hobby money. And hobby money is great, y'all. That's great. That's more than without, you know, right? That's, that's more than you were making before. But if, you're, if, if, if you want more than hobby money, it does take more than hobby time, as we know. And not really putting much time into it equals really not much money. Okay, and I have, you know, people who say like, well, I just, I, I don't know what's happening. I'm like, are you doing this? No, are you doing this? No, are you doing this? No, are you doing this? No. Well, there we go. So um, you, have to, you have to figure out what you want and why you want it. So um, like I said, the products absolutely changed my life. And that's what I started reaching out with. And um, I did, I, I, for whatever reason, um, re recruiting wholesale customers is a strength of mine. Um, it's something that I have been able to do in large numbers. Um, and I, I think that the biggest 
sorry, my children and my husband are loud in the other room, but um, I think for my story, as I said, is really based around the triplex combo, right? And so when I tell people my story, they're like, oh yeah, that's what I want. That's what I need. And especially if they're doing, adding anything to that, the most economical thing for them is the, is to sign up as a wholesale customer right and so I like to usually make sure that they've tried slim first if they're going to sign up as the wholesale customer and they hate slim that's you're going to end up with a white line right I mean that's just if if they're not going to do slim and two other products don't they don't need to be wholesale but um so I'll usually send them a sample of slim or take them a sample or whatever. And then I've signed that's, I sign up a lot of wholesale customers. What I'm working on now is recruiting these business builders because I can sign up 20 wholesale customers in a month. But if nobody's going to be building the business, then it's still, it's been an uphill battle and to, to do it by myself. And that's not fun, but we'll talk more about that. But anyway, so I, I started to really catch the vision for what this business could be. And, um, it has allowed me and my family to dream in a way that we never could have dreamed otherwise. Right. Um, like I said, I was a high school English teacher. My husband is a pastor and we, we want for nothing. Okay. We are so provided for, and God has been so gracious. But, um, you know, these jobs have ceilings, like they have salary gaps. They are not, um, I honestly, I, my, I hit senior Ruby in May and that check was bigger than any check I ever made teaching public high school. Um, which I don't know if that's amazing or if that's sad. <laughs> it's both probably, but it was, I mean, it's such a gift. It is such a gift. And so it's just, it's allowed us to dream about doing um, it, things that we never could have dreamed of before. Like we are, we um, feel called to adopt and that's a big goal. Like a big part of my why is being able to pay for that adoption and uh, letting our children, you know, see the world and really expand their world views and being able to travel with them and all of that um, is something that really motivates me and um, being able to give without having to stop and really think and crunch numbers and agonize and where can I take from here work. Like I had a friend call me the other day that are, they're going to be missionaries in a pretty dangerous part of the world and they still need some of their funding. And I was able to say, yeah, let me help you with that. And I hung up and just got tears in my eyes. Like, I'm just so grateful. I am so, so grateful to be able to do something like that, that I would not otherwise be able to do. So figuring, figuring out what is my motivation? What is what's going to drive me? And this is nothing new to any of you. I know that. But when the daily grind eats away at you, those are the things that bring you back to this is worth it. So here's kind of what I would say on a daily basis. Um, this is what I tell my team is really, really important every single day. At least if you, and this is for the person who's got multiple kids and they're working a full-time job and this and that, at the bare minimum, if you are gonna grow a business of any size, you need to work at least 15 to 30 minutes on your business a day. And we're talking IPA, income producing activities, not, as you know, scrolling Facebook, not even, not even posting. I don't even hardly really count that as IPA. Um, but I would say the bare minimum is reaching out to three new people per day. And that is hard. That is hard, and that is harder for some people than it is for others. I am over it. Like, I'm just over it. <laughs> I don't worry about – not that I never worry about it. It's not that I don't still send messages sometimes and get that, like, pit in my stomach that, like, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh, what are they going to think? But that's when I just send another one. Like, I find somebody else, and I send another one, and I don't sit there and take the time to worry about, what are they going to think about me? I don't even check to see, like, did they look at it. I give it a few days most of the time to see, did they read my message? Um, because I'm, it's, it's just easier that way. And so if I'm sending more, if I'm sending enough, then I don't even remember half the time until I go back for my follow-up who I sent it to. You know, 
I don't even take the time to worry about it. But reaching out to three new people per day. And y'all, I'm in my cold market. Like my warm market was tapped out a long time ago. But I am amazed by the response that I still get because I have been consistent, because I have continued to post, because I have continued to share um, authentically my passion for Plexus over these last two years. And so those people don't, all, they don't know, never has someone been like, uh, we have not spoken in 10 years. Why are you reaching out to me about Plexus? Now they may be saying that behind my back, but just, I mean, it doesn't hurt me. Like I, I don't know it. <laughs> They're saying nobody's ever been rude to me or, um, you know, it, I, I haven't like lost friends because of this, but, um, so I, I just, you just kind of have to suck it up and get over it sometimes if this is what you want. And so when it gets scary, that's what I have to remind myself. This is, this is what I've said. This is what I'm doing. This is what works. So I'm doing it. So three new people. And, but oh, like I said, tapped out my warm market a long time ago. And so I have started adding new friends on Facebook. Like I don't add a million plexus people because that's not, I mean, not that it's all about money, but like, that's not going to grow my business having 8 billion plexus friends. Right. And so, um, when I see somebody, pop up that it's like you may know this person and we have mutual friends that are not plexus people but um we have a bunch of mutual friends maybe from church or from waco or from college or from whatever i've started adding those people and it's crazy like the things that uh the the ways that that has developed and so really and truly that is a thing like i had hear, heard people saying that like you need to be adding your friends no it is actually a beneficial thing um, and so then, and just being willing to talk about Plexus where I go, you know, when, and sometimes that's the hardest with our friends and family, right? I don't know. Maybe that's just me, but sometimes it's the hardest for me to chime in and be like, you know, I honestly, like I could help you with that. But that's something I've been trying to do more and more lately or with random people that maybe I don't know very well when they are talking about issues that I know I could help them with. So like <laughs> before Vegas and y'all, I had never done a spray tan in my life, but I went to get a spray tan before Vegas. And, um, she was talking about just how completely exhausted, like she does not know what is going on with her, blah, 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 blah. Got that lady signed up. Like, why not? Why not? That's my motto. And so if I know that I have something that can help her, I'm why I shouldn't withhold that. Right. And so, um, yeah, it's just being willing to share with people where you go. Okay. Adding those people on Facebook, maybe whatever. And then following up as we know, follow up with at least two prospects per day. Okay. So maybe it's a relationship that you're building that you need to follow up with, or maybe it's somebody that you've reached out to that you have not gotten a response from. And you can just say, Hey, just checking back in. I wanted to see if you got my message. I know life is crazy. So just let me know. And, um, you know, something like that, but following up with at least two people per day. And then, and um, here are some other ways that I follow up. And I, I just signed in when I was going um, for Ruby in February. I, the last day of February, signed up my total and complete game changer rock star. And y'all, this was the 86th level one of mine. So I cannot begin to imagine had I given up before I signed her up because she changed changed everything. She changed everything. Her name is Tracy Fogel. You will be seeing this girl. But so anyway, she, um, I followed up with her. I had reached out to her in like September or October of last year. And she very briefly was like, yeah, I've heard of it. I don't know. I'm exhausted all the time. So maybe sort of something I might be interested in. I'm like, great. Here's blah, blah, blah. You know, kind of told her some stuff about it. And she went dark, completely dark did not respond. And I was like, okay, I'll give her a couple days. Hey, just wanted to check back in with you. Nothing, no response. So let a couple weeks go by. And I think we were doing like some kind of online event. 
I sent her, I was like, hey, I know you were kind of interested in this before. I wanted to let you know we're having this event. You could learn all about it. Super easy, fly on the wall, whatever. No response. She, she, she could see the message. Like I could see that she saw it, but she didn't say anything. And so then, um, say, uh, same thing. Like I just kept going for it. I don't know why. Because I don't necessarily do this with everyone, or I didn't at the time. I do now after this, but so then sent her um, another message about a sale we were having, like some kind of, there's some kind of flash sale going on. Didn't respond. Sent her, you know, uh, free shipping for whatever in November, Black Friday, no response. Sent her whatever, you know, like it was like 10, 12 times where I sent her stuff and she did not respond at all. Then in February, <laughs> At like 4.30 in the morning, she messaged me and she's like, I am exhausted. I feel like garbage. I'm doing this. And I was like, okay, awesome. Great. Let's get you signed up. Let's do wholesale. It's the cheapest, blah, blah, blah. And still not knowing that she wanted to do the business. And then she's on the products for a couple weeks and suddenly she's like, how do I um, sign someone up if they are interested in it? I'm like, oh, Awesome. Yeah. Well, here's how you sign someone up. And if you sign two more people up, you could go silver. And she's like, okay, yeah, let's do that. And so she goes silver within a couple of weeks. And then she just like went nuts, like took the bull by the horns, took way more initiative than I ever took in the beginning and educated herself and asked me a billion questions. We talked on the phone for like two hours. We had like another two hour zoom. We just, and she went gold on May 17th, in the middle of the month, <laughs> I joined last day of February, started the products beginning of March, and then went gold in the middle of May. Like, it was just nuts. And what if I had given up 86th person that I had signed up? And so she, and she's changed the trajectory of my business forever. And she signed up some rock stars that are going to go gold. They'll probably have all the people in their back office this month and then they'll hit next month. I mean, it's just changed everything. So then I was able to hit senior Ruby in May. And so it was just, um, I, man, learning about following up. The fortune is in the follow up that absolutely opened my eyes to, I, sometimes it really pays to be that annoying, persistent person, but just, I call, all those things, softball things, when there's a special, when there's a sale, when there's something like this 10% off welcome packs, that is just somebody tossing you a softball saying, here, here's your perfect excuse to reach out to that person again. Let them know that, you know, so it's not just like a, hey, just wanted to check in with you again. No, here's this thing that could benefit you and it's on sale. So now's the time, you know, it creates some urgency. Um, Another thing you've got, and I'm sure you are following up with your customers like crazy, especially my wholesale customers. I drive them nuts in those first few weeks, like every couple of days. How are you feeling? How are you doing? And especially with New Slim, right? We love New Slim, but for me, it was kind of hard. There was some die off. It was not the most pleasant of experiences at first. And I, it's funny. It seems like people who were on original Slim first have almost kind of had more trouble with um, New Slim. And then some people, it's like been amazing for, since day one, so who knows. But um, so following up with those people, making sure that you take such good care of them. How are you feeling? Are you drinking your water? Okay, let's troubleshoot this situation. Maybe we need to cut back on your probio. Maybe we need to up your probio. Maybe we need to have your Slim. Maybe, you know, whatever. Making sure that you're taking such good care of your people. And sometimes those people can turn into rock star ambassadors that you were not expecting at all. I mean, I'm not, I'm not calling myself a rock star, but Sally, she had no, like, she didn't see me coming, you know, like I always think back to, I did not set out to work this business. And so I have to remind myself, do not count anybody out. Do not count anybody out. Like everybody has the potential to fall in love with these products and decide, yeah, I'm going to, to share this I'm gonna go for it and decide yeah I want to be a diamond someday you just don't know and so taking such good care of your people of your customers of your wholesale customers um, I think is huge and then uh, reach out to one active ambassador per day at least like make sure that your people 
are being taken care of, your level ones, or if you have some level twos and threes and fours that don't have the support maybe that they need to, sometimes you gotta reach down into those levels as well and just make sure that your people are being encouraged, that they are being a little pushed, that they are being and um, that they're feeling excited, that they're feeling pumped up and taken care of and like and um, motivated to go for goals, that they're setting goals. And so I think that that's super, super important. And reach out to those inactive ambassadors as well. Again, you don't know who may decide, yeah, I could run with this. And so um, keeping in touch with those people, I think it's really, really important. Sorry, I, I keep looking down at notes. Um, I try to really train myself, like watching at least, I tell my team, and I, I do it pretty much daily, but um, watching at least one training video per week, um, and this does not have to be sitting down and taking notes. This is while I'm like doing my makeup in the morning, or after I've dropped my kids off and I'm driving home, or while I'm cooking dinner, or folding laundry, or whatever it is. Um, a lot of times I am watching or listening to those videos and um, TV is just not really something that happens for me, <laughs> which is sad, but it's like, again, it's worth it. The sacrifice for a, a TV, wow, that's really low, for, you know, maybe a year or two or three or four, but still the payoff is so huge. So training myself on products on and um, developing as a leader and developing as a network marketer, like it is so, so, so important. And then I'm really being engaged in my team page and um, being engaged in my uplines page, like letting her know, yeah, I've read this post. I know you've thought really hard about what to post for me today or for us as a team. So I want you to know I read it and here's maybe what I took away from it. Um, and then really fostering engagement on my own team page. I don't know if anybody else has uh, team pages. Some people, some teams just do that differently. Some have like, a, you know, everybody has their own pages or some just really stick with their um, sponsors until they're like jewels. And so I don't, I don't think there's a right or a wrong way to do it, but keeping my um, team culture really engaged and encouraging and exciting, a fun place to be. And so I, I think that's been something that's really important. Another thing, sorry, I'm just kind of trying to go quickly, but something um, that changed everything for me, and another one of those things that changed everything was doing my monkey math. Do you all know, have you all talked about monkey math, Edna? Do you all talk about monkey math? Okay. If you, and I'm not going to go into it because I'm probably, I would butcher it. I'll give you a tiny idea of what it is, but um, Google Plexus Monkey Math, and there are a few different videos talking about it, and like um, Haley DeJoc and um, what's her name, Melissa, and oh my gosh, what is it? Not I can hear. No, Melissa, is it Martin? I don't know, really short hair. Anyway, you'll see her. It'll come up. It'll come up when you Google um, Plexus Monkey Math. But, um, well, Melissa Eichenhorst probably talks about it too. Who knows? Because she's brilliant. But anyway, it's you set, so you take the points. Let's just like go with gold because that's easy math for me. Okay, so gold is 100 points. So what I had mapped out, somebody had given me, um, and I should have pulled it up, but like a, a graphic with how to be in Hawaii in July 2017, or not, or September, but like how to hit Emerald by July 2017. And so it was like, you know, you want to hit this by September, you want to hit this by December, you want to hit this by uh, March, and Senior Ruby by May, whatever. And then July is Emerald. And so I was like, okay, yes, I want to be in Hawaii. That's what I'm going to do. But you have to figure out really realistically, what does that look like? So whatever your goal is, if it's gold, all right, I know I need 100 points, which means I have 20 holes to fill, levels one through three, 20 holes to fill. And um, so you divide out. So like if I ended um, the previous month with 40 points, I know if I maintain everyone that I have, I maintain those 40 points and I need 60 more points. Okay, so how many people is that? 12, right? <laughs> Am I doing that right? 12 more people, holes to fill um, between, you know, this month and next month. 
And so you know on my levels one through three, I've got to get 12 more people. Okay, and so that's how you shoot for. So then you tell your team, all right, we want to recruit 12 people this month. How are we going to do it? And you kind of come up with a plan. And maybe you say, let's add, you know, four or three people a week for these next four weeks. Okay, and break it down into the smaller, kind of more bite sized goals that everybody's really working for. And um, it becomes really exciting. I mean, becomes this really like cool thing where people get to work for something bigger than themselves. You know, they get to, to help achieve a bigger goal. And, um, so I found that monkey math was like super, super helpful for me. So when I knew I hit golden May, 2016, I need to hit senior gold by September. And so I knew I've got, I, I want to have, I need 150 more points. And so I had to divide that, all right, on my levels one through three, what is 150 divided by five? How many people do I need? This is how many, and then divide that by May or June, July, August. So in the next three months, we need to add a minimum of, you know, I think it was like 17 to 20 people. And you leave room for error. Of course, people fall off. We know that. It happens. So you want to overshoot it. But we need to add, you know, at least 20 people per month for these next three months to hit this goal. And so um, we did. Like, that's what we did. And so shot, hit senior gold in September and then shot for – Ruby in December, and I don't know what y'all's month <laughs> was like in December. It was the month that we do not speak of on Team Greenway <laughs> or Team Crosby. It was just a slow month, like it was a rough month. So Ruby did not happen. But so we rebuilt in January, and then we hit in February Ruby. And anyway, but I had I had it mapped out, and so that's what happens. Like, all right, so we shoot for it in December, we don't make it. All right whatever we dusted our shoulders off and we moved on and we just kind of pushed the goal back a little bit and um, but monkey math made it so much easier for me instead of just like i want to be gold by may you know or i want to be ruby by whatever it gave me practical steps to take and really and um, helping my team so like I knew you want to go gold so let's help you go gold and if you go gold then that's going to help me hit this you know I mean so it's working together as a team and it is so fun and so bonding and um, and just it, it but that monkey math really really made a huge difference for me actually being able to see it mapped out on paper and know this is what this looks like. So every month is um, is not necessarily a promotion month, not a big month, but it's not a month off. Like there are no months off when you have goals. They're either um, milestone months or promotion months. And so you want to hit, if you know we need 20 people each month, these next three months, then that's your milestone. You're going to recruit those 20 people. And for me, I just decided if I need 20 people that I'm going to recruit, I'm going to set out to recruit 20 people. I have never been one to sit back and go, all right, team, like, I need you to have five, you to have five, you to have five, you to have five. No, I just decided I'm going to work like my business completely depends on me and hope that it really doesn't, <laughs> you know, but I just buckled down and did what I told you that I did every day, reached out to at least three new people, followed up with at least, you know, a few people every single day and um, really did try to develop my team and pour into them and make sure that they had what they needed and were motivated and all of those things. And so hitting those goals was amazing. And it really built um, their belief and built our momentum as well. But, um, okay, so I totally lost my train of thought but um so yes monkey math look that up i would say definitely watch that video um or there are multiple videos but anyway like i said you just kind of have to ask yourself why not like throw out those excuses you don't have to worry about um like i just like i said i'm not worried anymore about what people think you have to kind of get a thick skin and know it's worth it like you either believe in these products and what they can do, and so you feel like you're offering a gift to people, or you know that you're offering a gift to people, or you don't. 
And so, and same with the business, we know what this business opportunity can bring. And so you either believe it or you don't. And, um, not everybody, like I said, has to go, I'm going to be at the top of the company. Like if that is not your heart's desire, then that's okay. But you still have so much to offer. And so um, just having boldness in that and letting your passion shine through and your belief shine through and your belief be unshakable, um, I think is just super, super, super important. Like I, just a quick story, had a friend whose husband was like, not to me, but told my friend, I don't believe that. That's like, I think that's a bunch of like voodoo, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, well, like I didn't used to ovulate and now I do. <laughs> you can't argue with that. I just, it didn't, it made me irritated. Yeah. <laughs> but it didn't make me go like, oh my gosh, what if this is all just like, what if, blah, blah, blah. no, because I knew what was true you know, and that belief cannot, it will not waver. It will not waver. And so I think that's super important. Um, but I also, I think speed can be kind of important if you do have goals and you do um, desire rank advancements. Hopefully you have seen, and if you haven't watched it, that um, video by Rhonda Shaw that um, is called, it's titled Success Loves Speed. And that has been true for me. Um, this last year has been a quick year where, like I said, there has been no off month. And it doesn't mean that I'm just like working 24 seven, but it does mean that there are sacrifices made and that there has been a lot of work put in. And so, but it's because I've looked at every month, like I said, as either a milestone or, um, a promotion month. And so, but I've been able to hit senior Ruby with, 300 something people on my team as opposed to like their senior rubies that have like 800 or more people on their teams because they've been kind of stuck there for a while or you know oh and it it could be it, there are lots of people like that they have all the people in their back office but they don't have the points and sometimes it's because you just aren't moving quite fast enough and so you might step back and evaluate and go all right am I doing these things every single day? Um, and you know, you have to figure out who you are, you know, when it comes to your branding, who am I going to be? Who am I portraying? Um, am I being real? Am I being genuine to myself? That is important. A hundred percent. Hear me say that. Like, don't ever, when I say you need to do these things every day, you want to be true to yourself. You want it to be genuine. Um, and so you have to decide how you're going to run your business, what that looks like. But the bottom line is there are a few specific things that every single person who's ever been successful with Plexus has done. There are, there just are. And sometimes I think we want shortcuts and we want to find what is that magic thing that that person is doing because they're moving so quickly. So what, what I want to know the secret and there's not a secret. There's just really not. And so that's the thing that's encouraging though at the same time, because that means it's not just for the special few. Like, yeah, I think sometimes there does have to be some magic behind it, but if you will, will consistently do these few things every single day, then your business will grow. It will grow. And sometimes somebody else's business is going to grow faster than yours, or it may grow bigger than yours, but it will grow. And so, um, being committed to those things, uh, but doing them in your own way, but knowing, yes, I am going to do these things. I am going to reach out to new people. I am going to follow up every single day. Um, it's just, it's just what you do. So right now we have um, an awesome opportunity with these 10% off welcome packs, right? Like that is amazing, such a gift and such an amazing help for leaders retreat. Our company, I am, promise you they did not do that, you know, coincidentally. Like they want us to earn leaders retreat. They want us to be there and it is amazing. It is such a fun experience. Um, so take advantage of that. Like you gotta post about it more than once. Like we know how Facebook works. You can't just post about something once and think that everybody sees it. And you post, post your beautiful face or post your, you know, a picture with your children or those things that are really going to make people actually look at your posts. Right. And, um, really generate 
that excitement and let them know what's going on, but reach out. Again, this is one of the softball things, like reach out to people, use this as a follow-up, this 10% off, because that's a huge deal. Um, so anyway, I'm trying to kind of <clears throat> make sure I'm touching on everything, but I'm talking so long. So anyway, yeah, that's kind of, I would say that's kind of it. Um, just really um, being committed to doing those, those daily activities, having that thick skin, having that unshakable belief, and then just deciding why not. I'm just going to go for it, keeping your why, what motivates you, always at the forefront of your mind, um, but just really, really going for it. And um, I did want to share one thing that I thought was super cool that actually my pastor shared yesterday at church. Um, he was talking about this guy named Alex Honnold, and he free climbed um, El Capitan. It's like this sheer, completely sheer cliff face. I mean, it is insane. Like it has taken some people like days to get up. And I mean, he free climbed, like he had no safety harness, no ropes, no nothing. It was literally like his fingers, his hands. I can't even, and he was showing pictures. Y'all need to Google it when we get up. It will make you, <laughs> might make you sick. But I mean, it's just crazy. And he did it in like, I think it was like three hours, three or four hours. It was nutso. And so, um, but it, we were talking about how, like, yeah, he did it in a few hours, but he trained for, like, eight years to do that, okay? And um, it was something that he absolutely pushed himself to the limits for day in and day out in order to achieve what looked like really quick, amazing success. Um, and so sometimes um, the growth does not happen um, when God just, it, it, one of the things that really stuck out to me, you know, sometimes I think in our businesses, we, we will hit a mountain, like we'll come up on a mountain and we'll be like, oh my goodness, this is like, I am just stuck. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. This is painful. This is terrible. I feel like things are crumbling. And so we, you know, we're looking for a way out of that. And I think, um, the more important thing that I am learning right now is to just take it all in. You know, it is a journey. It is not just about the destination. And I know that you've all heard this, but like that growth doesn't come when God just removes the mountains, but it, it comes when we attempt them, when we continue to fight, when we continue to struggle through, when we continue to do our stinking IPA, even though it is the last thing we want to do that day, like just, Send some of those messages. Do something active for your business. And that is when I think that you'll truly start to turn the corner and see some growth when we can push through those really low, dry times in the season. So anyway, I'm going to stop because that was way longer than I meant for it to be. But And I hope it made some kind of sense. <laughs> uh, Paige, it was awesome. Like, so good and I got so much from it and I know everyone else up on here did too um one thing that I love about hearing you talk tonight was your passion and your mindset is it's just there I mean it's where it needs to be to move forward in this business and um that's something that honestly for my personal business has really changed probably within the last four months yeah kind of gotten that mindset like you said like so what if someone reads my message and they're not responding, like get over it, you know, move forward. And if you really want this bad enough, so what, who cares? And yeah. I mean, I love yeah. that about you. And I think that that's why you're growing so quickly. And, um, it's just, gosh, just awesome. So much. I wrote down like three pages. Yeah. Of oh, um, okay, so <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, so no, it's that. Is Go ahead. Oh, no, no, no. Well, no, that's what I was going to say. I, I think what I had to realize is if someone is misinterpreting my um, reach out to them or my, you know, annoying posts on Facebook or whatever, then we probably, like, are not best friends anyway. You know what I'm saying? And so I'm not saying, like, whatever, I don't care. It's not I don't care. But it's, yeah, it's just – they must not really know me anyway. So like, 
it's okay. We can both move on, you know? Yeah, exactly. Well, it's just so good and um, very, very encouraging and just hearing from someone that's really moving forward and saying, okay, y'all can do this too. Like, come on. I like it. It's really good. Yeah. So okay, yeah. I have a few questions and then I'm going to open it up for everyone else. Okay. Yeah. Um, what is, what is one of the ways and um, one of my friends on here tonight, she asked me this yesterday. I was like, you know, I've got to get to that point where I'm organized too. How do you keep organized with all the people that you're reaching out to? Do you have a list? Do you have index cards? Do you have system? Like I would love to hear kind of how you do that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not great at that. Um, I, I do use my planner religiously. I was looking for, um, I kind of, uh, I either write down on my planner who I'm going to be following up with, who I'm going to be reaching out to, or I keep, I have like a billion notes on my phone. Okay. So especially if I'm laying in bed at night and I'm like, Oh my goodness, I need to follow up with so-and-so I write it down. I don't leave anything <laughs> to chance with this brain because it's too overloaded. Um, so yeah, right. Just write every single thing down. It's usually in my planner or on my phone, honestly. So the system is not great. Um, I will say my girl, Tracy, um, has a, she created like a 90 day, um, IPA journal that is fantastic. And, um, I can send Edna the, um, let me see. Yeah. If Edna or Edna, you can let me know if you have anybody that might be interested in that. I wish I had it. I have not printed mine yet, clearly, How but um, I can. something about it on her page before. Yes. Okay. Yes. I yes. Go. I guess. Yes. Yes. Here, and so she can sell and that link is for sale for like, it's not much at all. I can't remember. And you can just have it printed, like sent to Kinko's or whatever, and they can print it. And it's super cute and um, really, really helpful. And so that's awesome. something I need to get on as well. Cause yeah. my organization is not amazing. Yeah. Not I feel like lately I've just been letting a few people fall through the cracks. And so I'm like, oh, got to get on some kind of system. That's yes. Than what I'm doing. Yes. <laughs> yes. No, you do not want those people slipping through. No. Okay. So I've looked up on YouTube, the Plexus monkey map. I cannot yes. find anything. It's like a, a animated game, like a game. Oh, you're kidding. Okay. Let me look at it. I I find it. So if you could send me that so I can post it to yes. the page. Um, yes. That would be awesome. Um, let's see. Right okay, so you said, you know, you're completely in your cold market now. Kind of like, what is the initial message that you send to them? Like, the okay. Okay. Yeah, so it's really just what I'm sending this link right now. This is the shortened version, but you'll see, you'll find the longer version of it too um, when you click on that. But, okay, so. See, I have to do things immediately or they're gone. <laughs> yeah. um, I send, this has been my favorite message so far. I've, I've sent several different ones, but I found a lot of success with this. Like I said, I am, and people have different schools of thought on this, and I, I'm, I don't think anybody is wrong on that. But like I said, I don't send a big personal, like, um, let's, you know, get, get to know each other again, because it just doesn't feel genuine to me. Yeah. And so I'm just not good. And it's probably just because I don't do it well. I don't know. But um, so I will send a quick, hey, so and so I have loved keeping up with you here on Facebook. And I'll say one sentence that is personal about their new puppy or new baby or new house or whatever. And then I will say, so you may have seen my plexus posts and maybe they haven't, or I'll say like, so you may or may not have seen my plexus posts dot, dot, dot. Have you ever tried it? And I send that, but then I immediately follow it up with, um, I know this is so random, but these products have been such a lifesaver in all caps, a lifesaver for me. So I am super passionate about sharing them. And that's it. And the reason I send that second message is because I know that there are lots of misconceptions out there about Plexus and what it is and isn't. You know, maybe it people see it as like this weight loss thing. And I would never want somebody to think I'm reaching out to them because I think they need to lose weight. You right. know, that's the yeah. last thing I ever want somebody to think. And so that's why I send that second message. But just, you know, hey, so-and-so, 
you know, love keeping up with you here on Facebook. Your new baby is so precious. And um, so you may have seen my plexus post, dot, dot, dot. Have you ever tried it? Send. And then um, I know this is so random, but they have been such a lifesaver for me. So I'm super passionate about sharing them. And then that's it. And I've gotten more responses from that because I think it's just not a real threatening thing. It's not like, okay, will you try it? Um, do you want to know more about it? No, it's just, it's a, have you tried it? Yeah. And so people seem to be more inclined to answer that. Yeah. And, and so some people will be like, uh, no, I've never tried it. Or yeah, I tried it once a few years ago. And then now we can say, well, guess what? It's changed. Yeah. And so that's a great, like, that's great to have in our back pockets. Yeah. So that's, that's probably my favorite. Yeah. I really like that. Um, so when you add a new person, you know, in your cold market to your friends list, you have like a certain amount of time that you kind of wait until you talk to them, like three weeks, a month, two weeks you know, on that, I mean, it's probably changes, but it, it does. It changes. It depends on who it is. Um, if it's somebody that I really don't know from Adam, yeah. I kind of let them sit there for a while. I will start to kind of creep on them a little bit. That sounds so weird and shady, but y'all know what I mean. Like I'll see, okay, who are our mutual friends? What are our connections and how can I kind of insert myself into this situation? Um, so like if it's somebody that I realize, oh, I go to church with this person, like then I'm going to try and actually run into them and like meet them face to face in the children's wing at church or, you know, whatever it is. And then kind of, then start like commenting on their pictures or on their Facebook posts or liking things or whatever. Um, if it's somebody that I do kind of know, then I will immediately, it's that same thing. Just start commenting on their stuff, liking their stuff, interacting with them. Um, and then give it, yeah, I would say give it a few weeks to a month or so before I ever bring up Plexus. And then just do it in that exact same way yeah. that I said a minute ago. Okay, awesome. Um, okay, I'm going to open it up to anybody else. Y'all can do the chat group or you can, or the chat box, or you can um, unmute yourselves. Let me see if there's anything else that I was going to ask you. Um, let's see. So you're very good at recruiting. I mean, I know that about you. Plus, you, you've said, you know, like you add, y'all, she adds like, six plus plus a month like herself. I mean, it's just amazing. Um, so like you normally for the most part, send most people ambassador out. Like I said, my testimony is so tri triplex centered that that is what most people want. So if, as I said, if I know that they um, are going to like slim, then yeah, I usually do. Just because, and I, and I don't necessarily even think that's right for everybody, but because of my personal goals, I know like I wanna be diamond. I'm gonna be diamond someday and I wanna get there. And I knew I had done my monkey math and I wanted to hit Emerald by July. And so, yeah, so that's what I've been doing since um, October, really, whenever they um, announced the 30, or the, yeah, the 60 day money back guarantee for ambassadors as well. I was like, it's, I mean, honestly, it's better for them. Like I'd feel that. And some people, you know, it, so it all comes down to how you present it. I think that's the other thing that has helped me be successful with that. Because if I know I do want, you know, if I know I need to add like this month, our goal is outrageous. So if I know I need to add 75 people to my team this month, then I am going to lead with when somebody's like, okay, so what's the cost? I'm going to say the cheapest way for you to purchase is wholesale. It's like becoming a member of Sam's Club or Costco. And this is, you know, what the, you pay the $34.95 once and you blah, blah, blah. You know, I think it's how, that is what I say first. And I let them know, like when you do it this way, the products come out to be about $3.70 per day. And then I leave it at that. 
I don't even, like I used to send the graphic, there are three ways to purchase, and I explained every single one all together and this and that, and I quit, I just quit doing that. And so, um, yeah, I think that's had a huge part. Now, does that mean I have more people fall? I probably have a lot more white lines, you know? Like more people will start it or they won't turn on their dang convenience order, and so I've really, we've been working with people to do that. But I haven't, like, because of the way that we take care of our people and, like, check in with them and really, like, if somebody's telling me, I don't feel good, I don't this, I don't that, I don't just roll over and say, oh, I'm so sorry. Like, I fight for it, you know? I fight with people to keep them on these products because we know, we know what can happen yeah. if they will stick it out and, yeah. and, like, suffer through it in the beginning, we know it's going to be worth it for them. And so I do a whole lot of hand holding um, and a whole lot of encouragement. And so it's been, you know, it's worked for me. Some people are really scared of adding people wholesale out of the gate, but it's worked for me. But like I said, I think it's worked because I've moved quickly. You know, if I were to really slow down, I could have people fall off and I could really lose rank. Um, but we've, just continue to grow and continue to grow and build on that momentum. And so it's been, yeah, it's been, it's worked really well for me. Awesome. And then we are focusing a whole lot more now. I am trying to really hone the duplication, like really setting some standards for like, let's find you an accountability partner. Like if you join wholesale, let's find you an accountability partner and let's talk about like being bold with sharing the benefit of them going silver. Like you could, your products could be paid for next month and, and sometimes even incentivizing them to go silver or to have their convenience order turned on and to really push through or um, like the seven day slim challenges like in April and um, well, okay. So in February we added 27 people and that was the largest number my team had ever added, which was amazing. And then in April, we added 60 because we had done, I had focused, I really focused in March on um, preferred customers for whatever, I had different like strategy reasons for doing that. And then I upgraded almost all of those in um, whatever the next month was, April. And then in my team, we did a seven day slim challenge. And I had my new rock star, Tracy. She had like a million people in that challenge. I had a few people. There were other people that had people. And it, like almost all of those people signed up. So we added 60 people. I think actually we added more in the back. I got confused by the back office. It was nuts. It was nuts. I was like bawling my eyes out, you know. And that was when, that was during convention contest. And I, I added, I don't know, April was crazy. Like I added a a really big number and so I was able to go on stage at convention like what? What? anyway it was just it was just God it was just God but um so figuring out that duplication so I'm like okay we're, we're jumping on the seven day slim challenge train so like we're doing one right now and yeah. my girls have a million people in it you know so hopefully we'll be signing up a whole lot of those people who know they like slim who now have learned about the other products and we're going to talk about the business and so hopefully we're going to be signing up some new ambassadors like who really want to build a business and so that's what i'm trying to focus on now yeah. like i said i can sign up wholesale customers all day long it's finding those business builders and i think it's because i haven't been bold enough with it to really say no this has changed everything yes the products have too but this is this business is what's like changing them our entire futures. So um, trying to set that duplication system in place where asking people to find an accountability partner, doing these um, challenges monthly, things like that to really continue the momentum. Because here's the thing, and this is what I learned from Brooke Hemingway, she'll do the seven day challenges and then um, you know they sign people up and then they say, okay, so new ambassadors, who do you know that needs to do the seven day challenge, you know? So then they're gonna do the seven day challenge. So it's not gonna be us having to find all these new people again, necessarily. It's gonna be our new people bringing their new people. And so that's how it snowballs, you know, in a, 
in a really good way. So, yeah, I'm a we'll huge see. fan of the seven day challenge. We did our first mm. one that's like Brooke Hemingway's last month, and yes. I already can see so much growth for sure. Yes, yes, yes. All that. right, y'all. So, I don't want to take much more of our time. So, y'all have any questions? I'm sure there's one question to Kim. <laughs> Okay. I've rambled so much. Probably nothing <laughs> left to even talk about. He's frozen. Uh-uh. Yeah, I'm just like, I'm definitely, oh, am I frozen? Yeah, am I frozen good. still? Good. Am I back? Good. Okay. Hey, I'm Kim. Um, so hmm. like when you're whole, I, I'm definitely one of those that I feel like I've been burnt by that. I'm a little skittish about joint, about signing up wholesale ambassadors. Yeah. It's either like, do you want the business or not? Yeah. And so I probably am stronger right now to sign up business builders, but I, I want to find the balance. And yeah. so like, how do you keep a wholesale ambassador from like in their second month, not, you know, wanting to not order again because maybe they haven't used all their triplex for the, like, right. I don't know. Like, I just, I'm curious about how you're keeping your wholesale ambassadors just continuing yeah. to order. Yeah. Well, so, um, do you do any kind of, um, like, do y'all have a customer page or anything? Like, how do y'all work with, so let me just tell you what I have. So I have, I'm on, you know, different team pages and then I have a team page and then I have a customer page. Um, and that is where I put everybody, like every single person in my downline who adds somebody, they put that person there. And, um, so I really, um, do a lot of product education there, like a whole lot of, um, this is why you need X factor. This is why you need block. This is why you need accelerator. This is why you need now vital biome. This is why you need, you know, whatever. And so really, and not that everybody, I'm sure not everybody reads those posts. And I only, I post like maximum once a day there. I don't want to drive people crazy, but, um, I, so exposing them to all different products and I have gotten a lot of people that are like, Oh, I didn't know about blah, blah, blah. And so then they'll try something else, you know? So being in constant communication with those people, you know, those wholesale customers, figuring out what are their needs, how are their needs changing? And what can we try that is different. Let's try this product. So you don't need more bio cleanse right now. This is a perfect time for you then to try X factor plus. And here's why I think you need it, you know? And so suggesting different options for them and sometimes is really helpful, I would say. And especially because they, you know, after, after the first couple of months, especially they are into where they're really seeing benefits. It may not be like, you know, the 50, pounds they wanted to lose in a month but they are feeling better than they've ever felt and so you know if you can get them there then usually they're going to be more willing to um, and more open to trying something different and trusting you and realizing yeah these products are really legit so maybe I do want to try that vitamin this month or whatever I don't know does that help at all it does and my other question was like what are ways, because I do, like, I had Rhonda Shaw, Success Love Speed, in my ear all summer long. Like, she, yeah. she's, like, in my head. Yes. And so, um, like, what role have you found with your speed that, um, like, do you play much with incentives, either for your team or for your customer? Or do you try to, it's kind of like with your organization getting so big, I'm like, you can't incentivize everything. And plus you don't want to make that not special. Like how has that played yeah. out with your business? Yeah, I am kind of at a crossroads with that right now, honestly trying to figure it out because you're right with, um, with my, like to my audience, my general audience, like used to posting a special or a sale or something could really um, have great benefits. It's that is getting less and less powerful and especially the more sales, the more specials that have been happening lately. So I'm trying to kind of pull back on that a little bit, although I went kind of nuts with it this week. But um, with my team too, it's been it's been a tough thing, like figuring out what actually is motivating to them. I think more than anything, for the most part, um, for the majority of my team, it's kind of cash or like Amazon. They always want like Amazon gift cards or something. So like this month, because we have a huge goal, 
um, I've said like for every five ambassadors that you sign with a welcome pack and a convenience order turned on, you automatically get a $25 Amazon gift card. You sign 10, you get 50, you sign, you know, like the sky's the limit, go crazy, make me pay you. Um, so whatever scale that works on for your team. So um, I think like tying it to that welcome pack or whatever you want, the convenience order turned on. I've had to learn to be very, um, rigid with my parameters that I've set. And here's another thing that I would say and that I started doing and that I think was beneficial for me. So um, on those promotion months where I, or those months where I'm like, I gotta, we gotta ramp this up. Um, we have done maybe like reimbursements or partial reimbursements for joining fees. But same thing, I tie it to the welcome pack needing to be on. Or like, a, I mean, the welcome pack, sorry, the convenience order needing to be on. And especially if it is a full $34.95, I don't pay it and I let them know, I'm not going to pay this. <laughs> I mean, kindly, but I'm not going to pay this until your, your order for next month has gone through. So if they join in June, I will pay it in July when they've ordered the second time. Um, because again, we're creating retail customers when somebody signs up wholesale and then they don't have a convenience order turned on and you know, that's it. They order once there's no point. And then they're stuck in your back office for the rest of your life and you just yeah. <laughs> want to scream. And so, yeah, I will um, put some pretty strict parameters on those incentives for new wholesale customers. And I have no problem with it. Like, and I've had people not get paid. Like, they have not gotten their money back. And I'm like, sorry. Like, I made it very clear, you know. But again, you just kind of get that thick skin. So, and I'll be the bad guy. Like, if it's somebody, you know, if it's somebody in my downline and their friend, whatever, I'm like, oh, I'll let them know. That's fine. I don't, they don't know me. I don't know them. That's okay. I'll tell them. So, yeah. sorry. No, you're good. Well, I appreciate your thoughts so, 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 so much. Like, you have no idea how much this meant to us. Oh, it was so fun. It was so fun. I really appreciate it. Y'all are so Thank sweet. You. Thank you. Sorry for my rambling. So She's fun to follow. She has lots of fun posts. I like Oh, God. <laughs> my kids are fun. They're crazy. Well, if anything else, ha you know, comes up or we have a another question, I know where to contact you. Yes, please do. Please well, do. Good luck with the rest of this month. Um, yes, y'all too. Let's run with this 10% off, y'all. I yes. mean, like, yes. from now until when it's over, like, we should be working our tushies off. So, yeah. yes, let's yeah. run with it. We got this. Yes. You All do. right. Thank you, you so do. much, Paige. Yes. Have a great night too. You too. All right. Talk to y'all soon. Bye. Bye, guys.